The closest spiral galaxy to us is known as the Andromeda Galaxy. Over two and a half million light years away and measuring 260,000 light years across. It is over twice the size of our galaxy and home to one trillion stars. The Andromeda Galaxy is very much like our own Milky Way, full of stars, nebulae, and lots and lots of dust and faintly glowing gas. This gas and dust hides much of the center of our galaxy from us, obscuring treasures we have only just begun to discover. To see through this dust, we must use eyes that are very different from those of human beings. To see these galactic wonders concealed behind interstellar dust storms, we must look in the infrared. On August 25, 2003, NASA launched the Spitzer Space Telescope. Designed to peer into the infrared region of the spectrum, this instrument was designed to pierce the veil of dust and gas blocking visible light and look deeper into galaxies where young stars are born. The infrared part of the spectrum is home to light that we cannot see ourselves. This is the realm of heat, the radiation given off by smoldering grains of interstellar dust. The longer wavelengths of this light are not blocked by the gas and dust that are strewn throughout all galaxies. They pass right through, allowing the instruments aboard Spitzer to literally see through what would otherwise be an opaque curtain. Galaxies look much different when viewed by the heat given off by interstellar gas and dust. Here is what the Andromeda Galaxy looks like in the infrared. The embers of the dust and cool gases shine brightly, yielding detail that would otherwise escape our notice. In the lower right portion of this image, a distinctive and curious ring is visible in one of the spiral arms. This never-before-seen hole is believed to be the result of a massive and violent head-on collision with a neighboring dwarf galaxy known as M32 more than 200 million years ago. Galactic collisions are impressive and violent events that sculpt galaxies into a variety of shapes, usually spirals. While the galaxies themselves do not emerge from the collision unscathed, the stars within them are hardly affected. The stars within are so far apart that each galaxy passes right through the other, with virtually no stars smashing into each other or being destroyed, only sprayed throughout spacetime by the gravitational influence of all the others. In the very distant future, roughly three billion years from now, the Andromeda Galaxy will ultimately collide with our Milky Way. Our stars will intertwine through gravity, their final destination sculpting a newer, more massive galaxy, the black holes at their centers possibly joining to form a stronger one. On Earth, 
some three billion years hence, our night sky will be filled with stars. None of them likely heading right for us, but all of them guiding our ultimate destiny within a new Milky Way. <laughs>